Welcome to I Know What You Did Last Shift, where we show everyone why police are the standing army our founding fathers warned us against. Today's video takes us to Las Vegas, Nevada. In February 2023, a school police officer in Las Vegas was captured on cell phone video, slamming a high school student to the ground and pinning him under his knees. The officer had not been identified as of yet. This ended up prompting an investigation and renewed calls from Nevada activists who want to see police removed from schools and more resources for students. The Clark County School District Police Department said the February 9th encounter inside Durango High School in suburban Las Vegas unfolded while officers were investigating a report of a firearm near the campus, but school officials have not released further information, including whether a weapon was found. District Police Chief Mike Blackeye said in a statement that the officer, who has not been identified, was resigned to other duties pending the outcome of the investigation into his actions. The department has not released body camera or dashboard camera videos of the incident. The video circulating on social media begins with several district police officers detaining two students as another student walks by recording with the cell phone. One of the officers yells, you want next, dude? One of the officers yells to the student, you want next, dude? The student backs away, lowering his phone before the officer shoves him to the ground next to a patrol vehicle. It's lights flashing red and blue. Students in the background can be heard yelling to the officer, you can't have him on the ground like that. The officer kneels on the student's back as he lies face down on the pavement, keeping his knee there until the video ends about 30 seconds later. At one point, the student can be heard asking his friends to call his mother. The roughly minute-long video of the encounter has been viewed thousands of times on Twitter, with one of several of the posts circulating the video viewed about 50,000 times. Student Dion Wallace told Fox 5 that he was handcuffed by police for jaywalking outside the high school and watched as his friend was slammed to the ground. He said the way the officer used his knee to hold down his friend, who was black, reminded him of the 2020 killing of George Floyd. The American Civil Liberties Union in Nevada has been retained by some of the students for assistance with possible future litigation. Time for final thoughts. Now, the fact that the kids' First Amendment rights was being violated with use of violence is outrageous. The department won't even identify the officer. That says a lot when it comes to transparency. The cop commits a violent assault and won't be identified. If you or me get caught committing an assault and get arrested, we have to identify ourselves. What's even more unacceptable is the officer who committed the violent assault gets to move around the department in other job positions and duties, even when the officer says, you want next, challenging the bystander to a fight. I don't know that much of any other career professions where you get to commit crimes and change your job positions. Not like you can work at a Walmart as a cashier, assault a customer at a checkout line, then the manager is going to resign you to stocking shelves. No, you would get arrested for assault. Like the famous saying goes, back the blue until it happens to you. Let me know what you think about the police department who assign their own officer gang member to other duties while they investigate their own homeboy. If you have a video of your own you want covered, video submit form is in description and pin comments as well. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.